Okay, we're doing well so far. So what does this fourth column represent? Well, it's the frequency multiplied by however many visits that number of people have, right? So if I add up all of these things in this column here, then down the bottom, do you agree that that's the same as taking all of these and just adding them up one by one? Is that okay, right? I've done all the twos and all the threes, and then all of, I've done everything, yeah? Thumbs up? Okay. So come back to your table. How do I add things up again? I told you a formula to do this. Equals sum. Open your bracket, and then you can highlight all the cells that you want. So I'll leave that there for a second so you can see what it looks like. If you'd like, you don't even need to highlight with your mouse. You can actually just go and attempt directly type C2, comma, C7. That means from C2 all the way to C7. Uh, all the way, so it goes up and down. Can I press enter now? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, let's have a look at these. I'm even going to highlight these two numbers in red. Maybe you want to do the same. How do I use these two numbers to calculate the mean? What do I do? This is the total. What happens when you add up every single one of your numbers? What do you do with that to get the mean? Divide by? By however many people I've got, which we've already established is 34. So we can go ahead and we can divide that. Um, you know how there's no multiplication button on your keyboard? There's no division button either? Does anyone know what the um, substitute is? It's the slash. It's the one that's closer to the space bar down the bottom. So I'm going to tap 71. Divide by 34. Um, you could actually write equals 71 divided by 34, but you might as well just use the number instead of it. Okay, so you can see that, if I press enter, I get this number. Let's go ahead and we can write that down the bottom, mean equals 2.08. Wait, we've got, we've got way more, now we've got. Did you get something else? Yeah, we've got more. Oh, more decimal places, alright. So you probably have more decimal places, because, um, and this is actually worth looking at. You're like, why do I have so few decimal places? Well, you might notice the difference between you and me is that I'm projecting on a screen, so I've made my numbers all comically large so that everyone in the back row can see. So as a consequence, how many digits can you fit inside my box here? Like, how many digits have I fit? I've only really fit four, right? But if I make my cells a bit wider, you can see I've got more decimal places. Excel will just hide them if you can't fit them all in, if that makes sense. Okay? So, I, we just calculated the mode, we calculated the mean, the mean, which is great. I asked you about median, right? Now just to remember, if you had, for example, seven different people, okay, and they were already in order, like say height order, or age order, or something like that, how would I work out what the median is? What would I do to this set of people? Prashant, what do you reckon? The middle and the mean. Yeah, find the middle. So for example, I know a way that I used to get taught was cross off one from each side, yeah. like so, until eventually you're like, oh, you can't cross off anymore. You're like, oh, that person is the middle, right? Who is? What if there is two? What if there is two? Great question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I tried this, right, I would go cross, 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 cross. Cross, cross, and then I'm like, oh, what do I do in here? Does anyone remember what happens when you have two in the middle? Oh, no, sure. That's okay. You find the mean of those two. Yeah, that's right. So if I've got two in the middle, neither of those is the middle person. So I say, well, what would be in the middle of those two middle people, right? So if this was um, five and six, I'd say five and a half. Is that okay? Yeah. All right, now have a look. We've got these two situations. If you've got an odd number of people, you'll have exactly one person in the middle. If you've got an even number of people, it's going to be the average of the middle two. So have a... It does. Sort of. <laughs> He's got some hair and a body. Okay, now, have a look. Which of these situations in our data, which of these situations am I in? Odd or even? Odd. Uh, 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 How many people are there? There are 34 people here, aren't there? Right? Now, I'm not about to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to 34, because that's a bit tiresome, right? How do you think about this? Is there a way that without like doing 34 dots, that I can work out who should be the middle two people? 34 divided by 2. 34 divided by 2. 
Thirty-four divided by two. Last I checked was seventeen. So what? What do I do with that? What are you reckon? So, um, so first you have to make all those numbers in each, like um, from uh, lowest to the biggest. From lowest to biggest. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then um, you count seventeen numbers in, and then that's the. Uh, Okay, so let's let's think about this, right? Let's try and number one, by the way, I'm going to try and do this in a way that doesn't require me to write out all of these numbers because it's bad enough with 34 numbers. What if I have 340 numbers or 3,400 numbers? I don't want to write all of these out. This is a really really slow way to do it, and our frequency test can help us. Okay, coming back, let's think about how this would work. Anime's suggestion was divide by two, you get a number, right? Um, here's eight people. If I divide by two, what do I get? Eight divided by two is four, right? And sure enough, there's the fourth and the fifth people. Now my person's wearing glasses, okay? Now, it's the average between the fourth and fifth people. Do you agree? So in this case, I got 17. So my median should be the average between which two people? 17 and? 18. Person 17, person 18. Now have a look at this. Can I work out without having to write? Zero, 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 one, 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 one. Without having to write them all out, can I work out where the 17th and 18th people are? I can, can't I? Have a look, for example. If you went to the fifth person, you should know how many times they've been to the doctor. The fifth person's been to the doctor? Zero. Zero times, right? The next six people are long. So if I get to the 11th person, 11th person? How many times have they seen the doctor? Once. Once, right? Now I need to count past the 11th person to the 17th and 18th people. Can you see where they're going to be? I think they're both going to be in here, aren't they? Right? So from there I could say median equals 2. Now what's nice about this is you've got the mode, mean, and median all fairly close together. Right? Do you agree with that? They're all fairly close together. Why is it that they're all so close together? Like in this case, they're identical. Yeah, what do you think? There's just a giant amount of twos. Yeah, there's just a giant amount of twos which kind of skew everything that way. Okay? Watch this. This is what's beautiful about having done this in Excel. Um, just go to your eight. Your eight right there. Let's just suppose um, there was someone and they really, I don't know, they just wanted to, they love the doctor. They're like, I, my, my doctor is my friend, right? So they decide to see the doctor not eight times in a month, but say 80 times. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm just going to type that, right? And the beauty of having written all these formulas is if I press enter now, did you see what just happened? Do your numbers match mine? Yes. yes. Have a look. See how this 80, what's it done over here? It's got an 80 what? here. So what's my new mean? What is my new mean? 4.2. 4.2. Oh my goodness, right? Like hardly any people went to the doctor four times, right? But this person has skewed it out. Um, quick question. How has the mode changed? How has the mode changed? Because the mode is what again? The it's the, it's the number most used. It's the most used, most frequent, most common, right? Which is the most common? It's still the two. Do you agree? Still the two? So the mode, has it changed? No. No, what about the median? The median is still the, the 17th and 18th people, do you agree? Yeah. So they're still in here, does that make sense? So it just so happens that we've got nice numbers, so that's why everything hangs together. 